Hey guys, what is up? It's Wolf, your one and only, coming at you guys with the ranch video. But I do want you guys to remember this will be like a part one because I don't have every single thing figured out about the whole ranch thing. Now, first thing first, we're going to get into something that's very important about ranch. And I recommend you guys doing. First, you guys are going to put your, push your ranch button down here. Then I want you guys to pick record. Record is pretty much where you put all your mount dragon mods you're not going to use and what you're going to put inside of the ranch. So these three I don't need because I already have them. As you can see, I just move them over and put them inside the slot. Now you can just push keep inside of ranch directly or you can try and earn their prizes each day so i'm almost done with this one so i'm going to record it as you can see i got an achievement and i've fully got all my rewards now you can only do this once a day as you can see it's on cooldown it's at six o'clock guys i don't know if that's my time or i don't know they just never told us so, with that done, I'm going to put him inside of my ranch. Now that I've done that, this is the um, item he gave me. I can't use it until I'm level 40, so I'm going to put it inside my archive. That's two down. Now, as you guys can see, I probably only have two Dragomon out right at the moment who are actually on my ranch right now. If I see them. Where are they? Oh, there, there you are. That's one. And two should be... Oh. Yeah, he's just eating. He's enjoying his life, man. <laughs> Alright, now we're going to come up here to our handy dandy daisy and now we're gonna open this now you can drag this icon anywhere but you guys do remember that you can't drag the icon when you're when you're just on the basic ranch menu as you can see i can't drag it all you have to talk to daisy to do it now i'm gonna put him right here now, once you pick a slot where you want your Dragomon, just push Apply. And he should be out here. Probably over here. There he is. As you can see, they're just enjoying themselves. Now, as you can see, you notice these eggs that are sitting around. Now what you want to do is pick up these eggs and take them over to your cook. And you get a buff for it as well. Now that I have this egg, I'm going to talk to him. And I'll hand over the egg. As you can see I got a buff for it. And that was to increase my attack. There's a different kind of egg over here who increases defense. That's my first time getting an attack one. Now these buffs stack five times so you can constantly increase it. So I do recommend doing the ranch daily if you're planning on going on a mission. As you can see, I have both of them. You can stack these pretty easy, like I said. Alright, now here's something I found that was fun. As you can see, you got your food here. A lot of people have probably wondered what this is actually for. It's for being in ranch and you right click it and you hold the meal. Now where you want to place the meal is right in front of their path. So he comes right about here. So I'm going to place it right there. Or he'll get it first, whichever.
and they actually eat it. That is the unique and fun part, I like. Is he angry? Why is he angry? Hey, buddy. Can't interact. He's probably angry that he ate his meal. <laughs> he does eat a lot faster. Ursa does eat a lot faster than he does. So I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna put it right here, buddy. No, 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 no. Stop moving. There you go. So then, so it's pretty much not like putting it in between them, or they'll get angry at it. Believe. Now, once they're done eating, I'm gonna show you guys something I really love about the ranch. Something that's like the most fun thing to do in here. Ah, seems like they have a different type of food they like. That's more of the... Okay, yeah, they have a different type of food. He loves these, so... <laughs> Time to switch out Dragmons. I need to remember and figure out what he likes. Ursus likes this. Ursus, my baby. <laughs> he will always be my baby. Really? I haven't had that in like so long and now it pops up. Okay. Now what you want to do is come over here and right click him. Now you should get a saddle symbol. As you can see, there's a saddle. And you left click on him when whenever he stops. Okay. Okay. No. Okay, there he is. Okay, right click to stop him. That's pretty much where it is. Yeah, you have to do it twice for the saddle to pop up. Now you left click. And now you can ride them. Not only can you ride them, you can actually do their attacks as well. This is what I love about the ranch. <laughs> it's always so much fun doing this. So this probably applies to the defense version of the, um, of the ranch. I'm not sure about anything about the defense version because it's like really weird to figure out. I have not gotten like really into it yet. So to get off the mount, you just right click the icon, then boom, you're down. Now, the important reason why I told you guys that it would be better to do all the records before you actually put them inside your ranch is because you can get little pet versions of them. As you can see, there's a little whistle by it as an icon, and it actually just means you get a little mini version of them. Now, I actually do have my Ursa pet. Now, they don't actually fight, they just follow you. You guys are going to see him a lot. <laughs> that's all I use. But that's the downfall. When he moves, he's really loud. <laughs> now, let's take a look over to the other side of the ranch. As you, can see, you can hear him. He's really loud. Now, as you guys know, these little buildings right here are probably going to end up being something sooner. It always says open soon. Not sure when they're going to finish it, when are they're going to add it all in. It's going to be quite a while, I believe. Hopefully they do get more things into the ranch because the ranch seems the most unique part of the game so far. In my opinion, that is. As you can see, there's more buildings, and there's some over there, but this is the place I'm really excited about, this area over here. 
So pretty soon sure we'll be able to fish inside of our ranch. Not sure what kind of fish are going to give us. But besides that, this is the thing I like. Pretty soon we'll be able to uh, actually make our own farm, it seems. But do remember, these are also coming soon. Sadly, we're still going to be waiting. Okay, I'm going to have to get rid of you. You're like stomping so loud. <laughs> So that's pretty much it of, of that. Now I'm going to show you guys how to make the food for each Dragobon. I'm not sure how you can get their likes or dislikes. Let's see. He's going up a little. So if you find something they love, they go up a lot faster it seems. So I'm still testing out different types of food. So let's go over here to try cook. Now these are all the ingredients you can buy. And this is where you start cooking. So let's look up something. How about some steamed fish? So we're gonna need... Oh, nope. Can't make steamed fish. <laughs> now let's make vegetables. Now, assorted vegetables, you need a chili. So what we're gonna do is buy chili. Everything's like a hundred silver for the ingredients. About the recipes, I'm not really sure about. Those are... 10 goads. I'm not sure what the recipes do. I'm not going to attempt it because, you know, I'm broke. <laughs> the sad part of playing a game, once you start off, you're really broke. <laughs> okay, why did I push that again? Alright, then you want to come to the cooking interface. Then, next to you, thing you want to do is cook now. Or you can auto-cook if you have multiple ones and you want to make multiple ones. Now we're going to see if he likes this. We're going to put this right here, buddy. I don't think he'll get it. he's going to like it. Wait. Whoops. Of course he's not going to like it because I chose the same thing. Duh. My bad, buddy. My bad. Here's your fruit and vegetables. What's that noise? Oh, it's a delay inside of his audio. All right, we're gonna see if he likes it. That was that was my fault, buddy. That was my fault. Does that mean he like it? I don't. I don't know. Oh, I did not know you could come up here. If you like that one, I'll feed you more, buddy. Nope. You're just not satisfied with anything, are you? <laughs> but, the ranch is um, a really unique place inside the game. It's, it is a place I plan on being more than anything. The only reason I'm going to be outside and you guys see me is when I'm earning money. So you can actually interact with him. You can still saddle. You can saddle no matter if if they haven't eaten or anything. Man, this is always so much fun. I love this. That's why I plan on collecting all the belt, all the boss Dragomon and just putting them in here. <laughs> so now there's a little quest Drag uh, Havilon over here. It gives you little orders that you can do. Like food orders, 
This one is... Make twin soup. I'm not sure if I have all the ingredients for that, but I'm gonna see. Hopefully I can't complete it. I keep pushing the wrong thing. No, I don't have everything for Twin Soup, so I can't do that quest right now. But if you guys come over to this guy... He gives you quests every... Two hours, you can do this. But the maximum is three times you can do these. So... The first one would count as one, the second one counts as one. I'm not sure if you could do them multiple times, but hey, you guys are gonna have to figure that out. Cause I'm gonna have to go make some moolah. We're gonna go to the defense guy. I'm not sure um, of anything he does. Not, I haven't even got it to the defense part of the game. Now, I can't add him over here just yet, because, yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> but, I can tell you guys the icons. This one just means they're ready to breed, so you can make, like, I don't know, another Dragon I believe? I don't know. So, breeding is right about here. Once they're ready to breed, you can put them in. And... Make it another Dragon Ball, I guess. I'm not sure, man. I'm not sure. That's, that's all I know. <laughs> but yeah. Once that icon is ready, they're ready to breed. When they're injured, you can't interact with them or... feed them or anything. This one just means that... Um, they're safe from an injury in the future. Which means the master cookie, if you give them that, they're safe from any future injuries during their defense. So that's pretty much all I know. <laughs> so guys, that's all I know. We're going to be closing on the video now. I will see you guys next time. Hope this video helped you guys out a little bit, a little bit. But with that said, I will be trying to release some more videos soon. Not all of them going to be Dragomon, but yeah, I'm trying to get something going on. But if you guys have not checked out my Valentine's video to give you guys all this information beforehand of what I'm going to be doing on my channel, you guys should probably check that out. But see you guys next time. Peace out. Hey guys, what is up? It's Gold, cool. you're one and only. Come at you guys with the Samurai class for Dragomon Hunter. And so, we're gonna be doing a video a little bit different. We're gonna try and shorten it for those who didn't like it being at least 10 minutes long. It's still gonna be 10 minutes long regardless, at least. But still.